Hi Aries, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aries and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys would like, what in the world? I swear we got that for you guys last week. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. They are still on hold, like, but they will be opening up soon, I promise. And um, I'll roll it out on the channel, I'll let you guys know when they open back up, but you can also subscribe to my website and that way you'll get first dibs before I roll it out on the channel, okay? Just for those of you that are interested. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, thank you for all the good karma donations. And one last announcement. Um, yeah, nice, okay. Uh, mm, I'm actually gonna take that third. Okay, oh, you guys know how I use the Accurate AF Tarot on the channel? The creator of this deck, she just produced an Oracle deck and they are gorgeous, okay? And for those of you, if you are interested, I'm gonna put the information, the link down below if you wanna check them out. She's doing a Kickstarter. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you really love the deck, if you resonate with him and you wanna check out her Oracle deck. I can't put them on here yet because she's still doing a Kickstarter. So I can't show them to you, but you can go down below and check them out if you are drawn to that, okay? So let's grab your door. Please don't be like Taurus. Man, Taurus's cards would were like refusing to come out. They're like, no, <laughs> we are not coming. Okay. So it's interesting. I swear you guys got focus last week or something. So this is what I think is happening. I think there's some type of thing where you feel trapped and that's where your focus is, okay? There is a way out and you will soon see it. And it says, put all your energy on what you want so it can grow. So there could be something where you feel trapped in some type of situation, but look how cool this is. You have the door. It says, a new beginning is upon you and it is better than ever. I love it. So Aries, seriously, you've got something new. It's pretty much just, and I know that's easier said than done, but I've been here. So I'm telling you guys, like, this is legit what what you put your focus on is what will manifest straight up so maybe it's that you feel trapped in a connection you feel trapped to a person you feel trapped in an environment we'll see where your attention is at because you've got something new opening up here and i think it'll be sh once you shift your focus to what you want to happen that's what's going to come in and once you feel sure about it oh nice okay Nice. So you've got the Empress and Metamorphosis. This is pretty much Scorpio or it could be Taurus or Libra here. That's very Venusian. So there's a transformation happening here, definitely. There's something here where um, I think this will lift semi-easily. Some of you guys might feel it, be feeling trapped too, like your mother or a very overly bearing person. If that's you, I'm sending you lots of love, <laughs> not talking crap. But here's a profound change happening. It could be from some type of self-awareness, like maybe it's understanding where your focus is. That could be the thing that like kind of shifts everything for you. This is good. Okay, let's dive in. I like it so far. Huh, you got the magician and the three of swords. Let's see what specifically comes in though. Okay. All right. Aha. Nice. 
All right. So Aries, first card that is jumping out is the King of Wands. There's your energy. Okay, and I can't even make this up. The King of Wands has come out for all of the fire signs. <laughs> so I want to say this is you. Like this is you taking action a lot. Look at that. The Ace of Wow. You have coming out with that King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. There could be communication that happens between you and another specific person. Like, it could be a very nurturing person, or, or it could be a very magical person with that magician card that I showed you kind of flashed out. This could be a person that you connect with that, like, inspires synchronicities. Okay. It's really interesting. That's what I'm getting here. And I kind of get the sense that you connecting with them or reaching out to them or something like that is going to get you taking action towards something. It's going to help you pull out of your focus, maybe see something in a different light and maybe just get some type of clarity and truth because you're kind of almost needing to pull yourself out of some type of low vibrational kind of matrix that you're involved in. It's like a little bit of some energy blockage there and this is why because i think that the five of swords is coming in in your past position some inner conflict or just some really low negative thinking that either you were dealing with like you could have entangled with that type of a person maybe got too emotionally enmeshed or lost yourself in a type of connection and maybe you're still healing from that because you've got the metamorphosis and the empress that you're still like going through this transformation process it's going to open this new door seriously, okay? But I feel like you guys are just in the midst. It's crazy that you have the door and then these two aces here. That's new energy coming in all freaking day long. You have the eight of pentacles here where you're having to right now just continue to work on something. And that's focus. So it's kind of like you've you've got to learn to shift your perspective right now because this is about your perception can easily go to this five of swords like feeling down about things or feeling hopeless or nothing works out it's it's not going to go anywhere and shifting it over to here to the eight of pentacles where like seeing your goals seeing your dreams seeing something manifest for yourself being able to like accomplish what you want being focused on your dream and what you want for the future in your fear position, we have the seven of pentacles. So this could be really tied to your stability, right? To finances, things like that. But right now I feel as though there could be a little bit of a blockage that you feel like something is kind of taking too long. It is taking some time. And that's a part of this Saturn retrograde energy, which will continue on for the rest of September. So it's kind of like it is going to take some patience. You every single day putting your energy into something. But I just feel like all of a sudden there's going to be this kind of point where you break past some type of energetic blockage inside of your body. And it could be from an emotional like something that you hit emotionally or it could be an understanding that you hit into but I just feel like there will be this really significant shift that happens for you it's good it's really really good this this isn't negative at all so you have the page of pentacles so that's the new that's going to come in it's going to be a new offer or something that you put money down on or something like that. That's going to be coming in, but you'll want to go through the perspective shift first. You'll want to shift into this, like getting your focus away from the trapped energy, because once you get away from that, it's like everything is going to fling open for you, Aries. This new door is just going to fling right wide open for you. And you're just going to be elevated. That metamorphosis, it's like you're just going to transform and move in that direction, okay? And I'm not just giving you guys flowery words. This is literally what I've seen. So um, that's why I'm saying it in all this specific way. You're freaking atoms and energy. So once you work with the chemistry of your body and you get that, watch what happens. Okay, you can do quantum jumps, do incredible things, all right? In your mind, though, we have the Five of Cups. So you could be still going through emotions, like probably tied to this Five of Swords because these are two fives. So this is a conflict that you're still processing through. That's why things are taking so much time. So it's not even so much that like 
things aren't moving or your manifestation isn't coming in. It's just that you're needing to officially go through this, like get through the emotional part, allow yourself the time to heal, to let yourself cry. Don't dwell, you know, you can dwell in this forever. So it's about realizing the point of putting your focus here on what's going right. And that takes time to shift your perspective away from what was lost, lost opportunities, what you were hoping to work out didn't work out. And it was probably tied to a very significant connection because I can see you guys are going through a crazy transformation here. But your nine of wands, nine of wands is your final outcome. So that's why I was getting the sense that like, um, that to me is don't give up. There's still, it's really interesting because the way I see that nine of wands is he's standing at a castle. He's kind of like elevated above all of these wands. That's you. You're about, you are at completion. You're like at the final round. Okay. The bell is about to freaking ding. You're right there, Aries. You're right there. Okay. And your door that's opening is a moment's joy. Love it. It says, send through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment, a moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. Go find your joy. And this is that hourglass. It's kind of like the more that you can incorporate your energy with joy and that type of energy, just feeling joyful moments, feeling gratitude, like feeling like you're in love with your life, that's going to shift everything, okay? I know you guys already know this, so I'm not going to talk down to you like, you know, freaking kindergarten teacher and like your kindergartners. What am I saying? But I'm saying that go find that go find your joy even if you have to just conjure it up in your in your backyard or something just find a place where you can really conjure up that emotion of joy but i'm going to dive into the extended see whatever else wants to come out about this so if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link and i'll see you over there but aries if this is where we leave things i'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care